Manas AI, built in China, is doing things no American tech company has achieved yet. And here's the twist. This breakthrough could completely reshape the balance of global power. But why is no one talking about what it means for the future of the United States? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll understand why Manus AI might be the biggest challenge America has ever faced in the AI race. Before we move on with this topic, tell us who will have the upper hand in the AI tech race, China, the United States, Russia, or Europe? Let us know in the comments below. Mens et Manus is Latin for mind and hands. This motto perfectly sums up the meaning of Manus AI. They don't want intelligence that is only stored in the computer's brain. They also want something that can actively get you results in the real world. Enter Manus AI. Manus AI is the latest buzz in the artificial intelligence world. And for good reason, it's an advanced AI agent developed by a Chinese startup called Monica, and it was officially unveiled on March the 6th. 2025. What makes it stand out is that it's not just another chatbot or virtual assistant. It can autonomously perform complex, real-world tasks without human input. Imagine an AI that doesn't need you to constantly guide it. It can plan your vacation, analyze stock market trends, or even create multimedia presentations all on its own. That's a major leap from the traditional AI models we're used to. The whole project was a collaboration between teams in Beijing and Wuhan, with the Beijing group kicking things off about a year before its public debut. While no one's revealed the exact cost of building Manus AI. It's clear that a lot of time, talent, and resources went into making it a reality. So why is it suddenly everywhere? Well, a few reasons. First, its autonomous capabilities are a game changer. Most AI models rely on user prompts, but Manus AI can take initiative and make decisions on its own. That independence is what's turning heads. Plus, the Chinese government is throwing its weight behind the project, promoting it heavily through state media like CCTV. This kind of support isn't just about boosting a new tech product. It's part of a broader push to position China as a major player in the global AI race. And of course, the media frenzy helps. Manus AI is being compared to DeepSeek, another major AI breakthrough. And that comparison is fueling curiosity. Investors are paying attention too as its release is already influencing global markets. People are excited, but also a little cautious. There's been a lot of debate online about privacy concerns and how accurate an autonomous AI like this really is. All in all, Manus AI is making waves because it feels like a glimpse into the future, an AI that doesn't just respond to us, but works alongside us, making decisions and taking action on its own. And with all the attention it's getting, it doesn't seem like it's going to fade from the spotlight anytime soon. And like we said, the main reason for that is plain and simple. Manus has hands. Manus AI is shaking things up because it goes beyond what typical chatbots can do. While most AI models, like ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Claude, respond to prompts and rely on you to guide the conversation, Manus AI can operate autonomously. In other words, Instead of waiting for instructions, it can plan and execute tasks on its own. For example, if you want to plan a trip, a regular chatbot might give you a list of destinations or suggest a few things to do. Manus AI, on the other hand, can smash that like button, just like you should, if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, Manus can plan the entire trip from start to finish. It can find flights, book hotels, create itineraries, and even adjust plans based on your preferences, all without you needing to give step-by-step -step instructions. Similarly, when it comes to analyzing stock trends, other AI models might summarize market data, but Manus AI can go further by generating real-time reports and offering actionable insights without constant prompting. One of its biggest differences is its autonomous decision-making. Traditional chatbots are reactive. They respond to what you ask. Manus, however, can initiate tasks, monitor ongoing processes, and adjust its actions if something changes. It's more like a virtual assistant with a mind of its own. Another key difference lies in how task-oriented Manus is. While many chatbots excel at conversation, storytelling, and creative writing, Manus is designed to get things done. It's built to handle real-world logistics, whether that's managing schedules, conducting in-depth research, or performing multi-step actions. Also, Manus AI operates in a more open and exploratory way. Most chatbots are limited by their conversational scope. For instance, if you ask ChatGPT to research something for you, it will present the information, but it won't automatically track updates or refine the results over time. Manus AI is different. It can continuously monitor and refine its outputs as new data becomes available. And while regular chatbots are like smart assistants who wait for instructions, Manus AI is more like a proactive agent that can think ahead, handle multi-step tasks, and operate with minimal oversight. That independence is what's making it such a big deal. And to top it all off, this powerful AI is the brainchild of Alibaba and Monica. Manus AI didn't just pop up overnight, it's the result of a major collaboration between the Chinese startup Monica and Alibaba's Quen AI team. This partnership was key because it allowed Manus to tap into Quen's open source AI models, 
giving it the ability to operate seamlessly on China's domestic computing platforms. Essentially, Monica brought the vision for an autonomous AI agent, while Alibaba provided the technical backbone to make it work. When it comes to performance, Manus is not lightweight. It's been tested on the General Autonomous Intelligence Agent GAIA, benchmarks, a fancy way of measuring how well it handles different levels of complexity. On the easiest tasks, level 1, it's hitting an 86.5% success rate. For more advanced, multi-step challenges, level 2, it's managing 70.1%. And for the most complex tasks, level 3, it still pulls off a 57.7% success rate. Those numbers might not sound flashy, but in the AI world, they're a big deal, especially for a system that's meant to operate independently without human supervision. Since its unveiling on March 6, 2025, Manus AI has been creating a lot of buzz. There's already a waiting list with about 2 million people hoping to get access. And because it's currently invite only, those access codes are becoming a hot commodity. People are even reselling them for serious cash. That exclusivity is only adding to the hype. The combination of cutting edge technology, a powerful partnership, and the promise of true AI autonomy is why Manus AI is getting so much attention. It's not just another chatbot, it's a glimpse into the future of how AI could work alongside us, making decisions and completing tasks with minimal human oversight. And it's not just Manus. DeepSeek recently made headlines as a hugely successful large language model, also from China. So what does this mean for the US? The fact that the most recent major breakthroughs in the field of AI are coming from China should set the alarm bells off in the US. This kind of technology has huge implications. It means AI could soon handle complex processes on its own, things like managing logistics, analyzing financial markets, or even making strategic decisions. Instead of simply providing information, like most current chatbots, Manus takes action. That level of autonomy moves us closer to what's known as Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, AI that can perform a broad range of tasks across different domains, much like a human mind. For the United States, the fact that this leap came from China is a serious wake-up call. For years, American tech giants OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic have been driving AI innovation. But Manus shows that China's investments in AI research, backed by strong government support, are paying off in a big way. It's no longer just about who can build the best chatbot. It's about who controls the future of AI-powered economies and even national security. If autonomous AI can manage infrastructure, influence financial systems, and potentially enhance military capabilities, it becomes a strategic asset, one that shapes global power. So how does the US stay ahead? It's likely this will trigger an even bigger push for AI research and development, with more funding and tighter collaboration between the government and tech companies. At the same time, it's going to intensify discussions around AI regulation, intellectual property, and the ethical concerns of autonomous systems. After all, when AI can make decisions on its own, who takes responsibility when something goes wrong? Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.